Okay. I don't want to talk about the situation that's going on in the world. I really don't. I know you guys are being bombarded with a, a ton of information on it 24-7, and uh, I know the world is scary, but I think I want to give you guys something that is just not that <laughs> right now. Hopefully it does help you pass some time and also better yourself at the same time. So today I kind of want to talk about goals and goal setting. Um, personally, I set up a list of goals at the beginning of the year that I wanted to do. We call it New Year's resolutions, but honestly they're not. They're uh, more of a long-term thing that I want to work on uh, as far as my personal life, my personal career, and you know my my own business. I thought that right now, since uh, Minnesota is on quarantine right now, we're basically on lockdown uh, for the next two weeks, it would be a good time to reassess my goals. And I know for me that I've changed since the beginning of the year, and a lot of my goals have changed because of different circumstances. So um, it just really is a good time to reassess and think about what I want to do going forward. I looked up some statistics the other day um, about goal setting and um, I don't remember the exact statistics I think it was something like the 14% of people that have goals in general are more successful than those that don't have goals and 3% of the 14% who actually write down their goals are even more successful than the 14% so apparently writing down your goals makes you more likely to complete those goals. So in spirit of that, I wrote down some goals in my new notebook and uh, I'm gonna share a couple of them with you. I'm not gonna share all of them because some of them are personal, but. So uh, one of my goals is to be debt free by the end of 2020. Um, I have a lot of student debt, so I mean, that's something that has been burdening me and monthly bills are really hard when you have that overhead of just more and more paying towards those loans and honestly I'm kind of tired of it. So I'm working towards being debt free. It's going to take me a lot of work, a crap ton of work. At the end of it I think it's going to make things a lot easier. Another one of my goals is to post more videos and uh, <laughs> working on it right now. <laughs> I have been really struggling with posting videos because it is a lot of work, it is a lot of overhead, and on top of everything, I'm a perfectionist. And my lack of experience with video editing and filming myself, it's really put a damper on me posting as much as I would like. But I watched a video by Peter McKinnon recently that stated, finished is better than perfect. And that, that kind of stuck with me. A little bit because honestly like there's nothing that's gonna get me better at this than doing it so I'm just gonna do it <laughs> so I'm just gonna work towards it I'm gonna keep going and if the video is not perfect if it's not the way that I want it to be then so be it and you guys are gonna get to see the growth in me and I'm gonna get to grow with you now a small personal goal that I've had for a while now is to paint this room and I finally got the time to do it the other day. Um, I literally took probably five hours and just knocked it out. Unfortunately, I messed up my favorite pair of pants in the process because I backed my butt straight up into a wall, which is absolutely fantastic. But on the bright side, I got it done. Even small things like that can be on your list. Along with that, I was able to finally set up kind of like a little filming studio. And as you see right now, like it's not completed. There's still a lot of decorating that I want to do. And there's still a lot of things that I want to put up on the walls and, you know, finish things up, do some touch up painting. But I have a small little space for myself to film and feel comfortable. And I really do enjoy it. One of the final goals on my list, and I didn't think I was going to be able to complete this this year which is fantastic. Um, I wanted to hire an assistant, somebody to run my business and do the business end of things because I'm not as good with you know numbers and things like that. I am the artist. I'm the person that takes the photos, edits the photos, loves the photos. You know, I, I like that part of it. My 
assistant would be doing more of the emails and setting up the dates and talking to clients over social media and doing that kind of stuff because it just isn't something that I'm good at. And I'm also not good at web design. So I, for the longest time, I never had a website. Like I was like, go to my Instagram, that's my body of work, which to me seems super unprofessional, but it was what it was because I'm not good at setting up websites. But recently, my sister, who is younger than me by several years, but she's a working mom that needed some extra things to do when she was at home and she wanted to help me with some of this stuff. And I ended up getting to hire her as a assistant. And now she's been doing the running of my business and it has worked so well at taking things off my plate and making me feel a lot less stressed. It, had, it was a pivotal moment for me. So thank you, uh, Aaron, if you are watching this, but I am super, I'm just super thankful for her. I'm just super thankful for her. But it's okay to have silly goals in there too. I have a couple on my, uh, on my list that are just utterly ridiculous, like get abs. Got a long way to go. I'm gonna challenge you to put together a list of your own now. Now the way I organize my list, I have a list of short-term goals and I have a list of long-term goals. And the long-term goals are broken down into a year and then five years. Now, so the, the short-term goals, those are things I can do this week, tomorrow. You can call it more of a to-do list and yes, it constantly grows. And yes, you can do a digital list so that it's easier to check things off. Say you wanted to learn a new editing software, or say you wanted to understand a new phone app, or say you've been dying to make a certain meal for a long time. Write that down. Write that down in the short-term goals, and then check it off the list as soon as you've got it done. And do things to work towards those goals every single day. You can also have some of these short-term goals work towards the one-year goals or the five-year goals. So say you have a goal that has multiple steps to it. You could put the first few steps in the short-term goals and then work towards the longer-term goals steadily and slowly. Now in the long-term goals, the one-year and the five-year goals, I would want to put things like what I put on my list, being debt-free in 2020. That's something that's on my year goal. That's my one-year goal. In my five-year goals, I have something like I want to be a professional dancer. It isn't within my one year scope, just because those jobs are a little bit harder to come by, but within the five year goals, I want to dance as a professional dancer for a company. Altogether, it's really good to write down your goals and you're more likely to achieve them if you do so. So again, I challenge you to write down these goals organize them, see what is achievable within the short term, and with your time off right now, or if you have time off, uh, use it wisely and work towards those goals and really set yourself up for success. That's it. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say. Also, before you guys go, this is really silly, but me being in a new kind of painted, organized, clean space, I feel super productive and I feel like my workflow has gotten a lot better. So I think I'm going to show you guys a room tour. <laughs>